Thank you. God bless us. God bless us. God bless all of us in Jesus' name. I want to welcome you once more. Uh, this is Oracle Television Network right here at the Mountain of Deliverance. Believing and hoping and also knowing that you are enjoying the, our transmissions. I know you are enjoying our transmissions. I don't take it for granted. I just want to decree that you will enjoy this broadcast with signs, miracles, and wonders right where you are in Jesus' mighty name. And this hour, I want to be looking at instruction for victorious living. Instructions for victorious living. That is very, very important. Everyone, 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 everywhere desires to experience blessings. We desire to live healthy. We desire to enjoy the glorious uh, profit in the work we do in life. But uh, there are things and instructions that God has placed and put in his word that you can embrace and start enjoying. You can start enjoying opening up your doors of favor, opening up your doors for your helpers in Jesus' mighty name. Let me speak a word of prayer as we hear the word of God. Father, I bless, I bless our ears for hearing, our eyes of understanding. Give us, give us this insight of your word that we may understand your word with simplicity and with power. I pray this hour, show forth your mercies, your mercies in your word. Yes, in Jesus' mighty name, we are grateful this hour. We are grateful this hour in Jesus' name. We are grateful, our Father, speak to the lives of your people through this broadcast, wherever they are watching, wherever they are, in the mighty name of Jesus. I open our heavens, I announce supernatural grace, supernatural grace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. That is very, very important to understand the instructions for victorious living. Instructions for victorious living. So there is victorious living if you uh, desire. There is a failure or a failing uh, lifestyle if you desire. You can live in poverty. You can live in blessings. You can live in curses. You can live in blessing because God says, choose ye this day. I put before you life and death. Yes, he has put curses and blessing before you. So you choose. And how you choose determines what will uh, give you an advantage. So when we talk about instructions for victorious living, instruction number one, I am reading in 2 Chronicles 2020. Uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 20 and verse number 20 where we see a principle and uh, a system that can work for you if you listen to this very careful. And they arose early in the morning and they went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat, listen to this. Jehoshaphat stood and he said, O oh, hear me, O oh Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Listen and listen to me careful. O oh, you inhabitants of Jerusalem and O oh Judah. Number one, believe in the Lord your God, you shall be established. Believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Very, very important. And he also increases that scripture by saying, believe his prophets. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Very, very important. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. This being the first instruction. People that disregard prophetic instructions, they suffer the setbacks that they were not, uh -huh, they were not uh, uh, supposed to go through. They suffer the setbacks and punishing problems uh, bombard their lives because of just some instructions they disregarded. Uh, if you look at a man like uh, uh, Elisha, 
Elisha gave instructions to Naaman and he said, you just tell him to go and wash seven times in Jordan. Instructions for healing. Instructions for healing and for a victorious living. So when this man was told, go and wash in Jordan seven times, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> he wanted to, to, to argue out. Because there are times we want to argue with the methods, but you can't argue with the results. You can argue with the methods, but when it comes to results, you may not argue with the results. Mm. Listen to this. The instructions given to Naaman were, go and dip yourself in Jordan seven times. Dip yourself in Jordan seven times. It is not that Jordan carried the power to heal. It's not that the water in Jordan had the power to heal. But it's just an instruction that carried the miracle. It is the obedience towards Jordan that was uh, creating the miracle for Naaman. So it's very, very important to believe in the Lord your God. You are established. You believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. So believing in his prophets is what unlocks some of the blessing we cry for day and night. Believe his prophets, yes, and you shall prosper. I want to read in Matthew 10, 41. Jesus was affirming that scripture. He was affirming and confirming. Believe in the Lord your God, you shall be established. But you also believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Jesus echoes the same words in Matthew 10, 41, by saying, he that receives a prophet, mm, he that receives, uh, that should also mean he that perceives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. You shall receive a prophet's reward. That tells you that a prophet is a, an embodiment of rewards. Uh, you can be rewarded by receiving a prophet. You can re receive blessings. You can enjoy a certain grace as long as you perceive this is a prophet of God. This is a man whom God's grace is upon. When you perceive, yes, you can receive. I'm not talking about people that come to you with big, huge titles. Oh, the mightiest prophet, the great apostle, the senior apostle, the senior what? I am not talking about perceiving a title. I'm talking about perceiving the grace that my, this man carries because the, the title is still important because we honor people because of their titles. But if you cannot go above the title and see the grace that the person carries, then you miss your blessing. It is not just the title, reverend, doctor, but when you perceive the operation Aha, uh -huh. the grace that operates in this man, then you can be able to perceive and receive. I pray for us in the name of Jesus, those that are watching, those that are watching right now on this telecast, that uh, if you can be able to perceive the grace that speaks into your life, you will never be disgraced. That is very, very important. Jesus was affirming this to the uh, Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the crowd that was around him is saying, He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. What that means that a prophet is a grace that releases uh, gifts and rewards. Uh, a prophet is an embodiment or a person, uh, an entity I can call. Uh, who carries the blessings in his life. And not just to give, but they speak. Yes, they speak the blessings into your life. If you look at a person like Isaac, you may ignore. Because when we talk about Abraham, God called Abraham a prophet. When he was addressing Abimelech, he said to Abimelech, 
Yes, uh, return this man's wife because he is a prophet and he will pray for you and you shall be healed. So Abraham was a prophet. I will not be wrong to say there was prophetic ministry in Isaac. When he spoke blessings into Jacob, they became. He told Jacob, may God give you the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth. And that is a spoken prophetic blessing. In the same way, Jacob announced blessing and curses upon his children. So some of the blessings that are released by the prophets you perceive, they remain in your life and they have impact in your life. And I pray this hour in the name of Jesus Christ, may you enjoy the grace I command on this channel. May you obey, may you uh, obey the voice that is speaking to you and be able to perceive and receive the blessings of God from this channel in the name of Jesus. By that, I am not saying that this is a channel you send money to be prophesied. I am not, I am not a diviner. This is not a divination channel where you must send your money, I prophesy. This is not a divination channel. Yes, I am not in that office of a diviner where you must send your money and I tell you where you are, what you ate yesterday uh, so that I may tell you your problems. This is not a divination channel. This is a place we teach. I teach the word of God for you to understand in the name of Jesus. This is not a channel you send money so that I pray for you. We don't sell anointing oil here. We don't sell brooms. We don't sell mantles. We don't sell soap, healing soap, healing water. We don't have those things here. This is not a divination channel. I pray that the word you hear, the word you receive, the word you perceive, it shall change your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to this. He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet uh, shall receive a prophet's reward. Uh -huh. Prophetic reward is available to those who perceive, uh, those who perceive that this is a man of God. This is a man of God. I want you to see the victory that came through prophetic grace in 2 Chronicles 26. 2 Chronicles 26 verse number 7. We see of a young man here. Very, very interesting. I love these scriptures. I love these scriptures very much. In uh, 2 Chronicles 26 from verse number 5. Follow. The, this is a young man by the name. Uh, 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 this is uh, Uzziah, not Uzziah. Listen, uh, this is Uzziah, yes. Uh, there is, if you read all the chapters, there is Jotham in 28. There was Ahab in chapter, and Hezekiah. All these people, you read these chapters, you see how they began ruling. In chapter, uh, you begin from 25, is Amaziah began to rule. Chapter 26, uh, Uzziah began to rule. 27, Jotham began to rule. In chapter 28, Ahaz began to rule. In 29, Hezekiah began to reign. Chapter 30, Hezekiah. So this is a, a book of kingship where people began to reign and their relationship with God. Their relationship with God. But when you look at this chapter 26, this is a young man called Uzziah. Uzziah, 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 Uzziah. <laughs> Depending on your English. His father was called Amaziah. Amaziah. So this young man began to rule when he was 16 years. But there is something interesting about this man uh, that made him to succeed. There is something very interesting in this young man's life. Why he began to succeed. He did that which was right. That is number one from verse four. He did that which was right. 
He has instructions, instructions for triumphant living. He did that which was right in the sight of the Lord and according to all that his father Amaziah did. What was he doing during his days to live a triumphant life? Verse number five, he sought God. He sought God. That is very, very important. He sought God in the days of Zechariah. Oh my. He sought God in the days of Zechariah. There is no success. There is no triumphant life if you are not a seeker of God. He sought God. There is a time to seek God for help. There is a time to seek God for counsel, for direction, for miracles. You seek God. And this young man, he sought God in the days of Zechariah. He sought God in the days of Zechariah. Believe in the Lord your God, you shall be established. Believe in his prophets. So this young man called Uzziah, he sought God and believed in his prophet who was Zechariah. And he pursued to know about God in the days of his prophet Zechariah. Why Zachariah? Because Zachariah had the understanding in visions. Zachariah had an understanding in visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. Ah, le pragadayanda. May God make you to prosper as you perceive the prophetic grace on this channel. May God make you prosper in your career, in your business. May your marriage never come to a point it is a scattering. By the grace on this channel, I preserve your marriage. I preserve your children under this prophetic cover and this prophetic utterance. Your children will not be addicted to drugs, pornography, and rebellious in the name of Jesus. I speak the divine protection of God upon your children, upon your husband, upon your wife in the name of Jesus. Listen and listen to me. These are systems that God has put in place that you and I can have an advantage over circumstances. You can acquire miracles, signs, and wonders by this instruction. At 16 years, this young man began to rule. And the secret behind his success was he did that which was right. He pursued righteousness. He pursued that was uh, how, uh, the will of God. And as long as he did that, the Bible says, there are things that began to cooperate with him. He sought God in the days of Zechariah. Listen. Very, very important. He sought God in the days of Zechariah. So in every dispensation, every dispensation, there is a prophet for that dispensation. In your generation, there is a prophet in that generation. If you can seek God in the days of his grace, you will enjoy and have an advantage over situations in your life. He uh, sought God in the days of Zechariah. In other words, this young man called Uzziah, he submitted under the grace of Zechariah. He served the grace of Zechariah. Why did he serve this grace of Zechariah under Zechariah? Because Zechariah had understanding in the visions of God. He had revelations about the word of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, as long as he sought the Lord in the days of Zechariah, as long as he submitted under this grace, as long as he served this grace of Zechariah, the Bible says, and God made him to prosper. 
May God make you to prosper. May every curse that is punishing your life be lifted out of your life by the grace you contact in this uh, channel in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare every curse that is punishing your life by this grace, I come to you in the volumes of the word of God that this curse in your life will not prevail again in the name of Jesus. The curse that is punishing you financially, the curse that is punishing your career, you are jobless for 20 years, 15 years, 10 years. There is no job opportunity coming your way. I decree by the grace that you perceive, may you begin receiving opportunities that you desire in the name of Jesus. There is a grace you can tap into, submit into, and your doors begin opening without sweating. La Zalita Begozanda. Yes, in the name of Jesus. There are graces you can submit. There are graces you go under them to serve. And you begin prosper without sweating. There are people I have seen just by a little bozushe katayanda. There is a woman in the Bible. She said in her heart, I don't need Jesus to lay hands on me. But if I may touch the heko zabaya gareda, if I may touch the hem, if I touch what is touching him, I am sure there is a miracle for me. I don't even to speak to him. There is a power. There is a grace you can submit under. And just by serving, you enjoy miracles perpetually. La cosa gadayanda. Listen and listen to me and I pray that you will understand these scriptures very well. You will understand this scripture very well. That he sought God in the days of Zechariah. So Zechariah was a priest, the prophet in that dispensation. Yes, for this young man called Uzziah. Yes, why Zechariah? Zechariah had understanding in visions. His gifting that time, Zechariah as a prophet, is to understand the visions of God, understand the dreams, interpret areas that Uzziah needed to understand in his leadership as a king, his leadership as a ruler. Very, very important. Listen, and this is what happened. And as long as he sought God, yes, as long as he sought, the day he stopped seeking God through his prophet, that is where disaster began to come. Listen, and during that dispensation, he is a king. Look at what happened. He went forth and warred against the Philistines. He went to war. He went to fight against the Philistines. The first breakthrough was he broke down the walls of Gath. Oh, yes, the walls of Gath. You remember Gath. Uh, if you have read your Bible, there's uh, of the Philistines whose Goliath, uh, who's uh, the champion who was called Goliath, he was among these people during those days. He was among the champions of the Philistines those days. Yes, he's called Goliath of Gath. Yes, he was Goliath of Gath. This was his original home. Uh, so this man break down the walls of Gath and the walls of Jabne. That is a victory you acquire when you submit under the grace of Zechariah. He brought down the walls of Gath, number two, and the walls of Jabne. Listen to me. There are walls of life you cannot break. There are walls in life you cannot have a breakthrough until you have a prophetic voice, a prophetic power that is backing your utterances. Sakoja lagadaya. There are walls in life you cannot penetrate until there is a prophetic backing up. That is what proud people don't want to hear. That is what proud people don't like hearing. Yes, listen to me. I have submitted under the grace of my father. 
Bishop Dr. Mark for more than 35 years now. And I am what I am because I follow this grace to the letter. Yes, and I pray that if you can discern the grace that is speaking to you now, you can enjoy green pastures. You can enjoy sweatless labor where you are watching me from in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to this. He broke the walls of God. He destroyed the walls of Jabeth, Jabna and the walls of Ashnod. Look at this. These are three great walls that no other king had a breakthrough over. But because this young man, this king, he sought God in the days of Zechariah, every wall came down without sweating. He broke down the wall of God. He broke down the wall of Jabne and the wall of Ashdod. Listen to this. And as if that is not enough, he built cities about Ashdod and among the Philistines. God gave him victory because of the prophetic cover, the prophetic grace around his life. I pray that if you discern the grace, you discern the grace that is speaking to you right now. You can sow into a grace. You can partner with that grace and enjoy the grace in your finances. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to this. Verse number 7. Just by seeking to submit under Zachariah and God helped him. There is some help you will never acquire unless you are submitting under a grace that covers your victory. Listen to this. And God helped him. God does not just help anyone. Let me assure you and tell you the truth. Not everyone is helped by God. There are people who have failed desperately. Yes. Because they, they help, they want to look at what David said. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. So there are people who could get their help from the hills. But David looked at that and he said, I will look unto the hills. But where does my help come from? Kings looked for help in the hills because they would run to the hills. When the battle was severe in the valley. So David says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. But... Where does my help come from? It doesn't come from the hills. It comes from the Lord. It comes from the Lord. Rakozagata mm. yanda. And God helped him against the Philistines. There are enemies of your life that you will only need to contact the grace of a prophet for God to help you. You only need to contact the grace of a prophet for him or for God to assist and help you. So God helped him against the Philistines, number one, and against, against the Arabians that dwelt in Gurbal and Mehuhins. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Leko Zagatayanda. This man, because of his uh, submission, because of his submission, look at verse now. Oh, there are quite a number of things he did in verse number uh, 8, 9, 10. But if you look at from verse number 10, this is an amazing young man. Grace that made him have ability to do what others cannot do. He also built towers in the desert. Oh, talk about Dubai. Towers in the desert when God is helping you. He built towers in desert. He dug many wells in the desert. For he had much cattle both in the low, in the low country and in the plains. Husbandmen, that is farmers and vine dressers in the mountains and in camel. For he loved uh, farming. He loved farming. <laughs> he loved farming. Yes, look at this verse 11. Moreover, Uzziah had a host of fighting men. Hey, Bozuka. He was an organized man in his palace, in his kingship, just because he sought God in the days of uh, Zechariah. That is where his success began. Doing right 
and seeking God in the days of Zechariah. Moreover, Uziah, he had a host of fighting men that went out to war by bands, according to the number of the account by the hand of Jael. He had a great man who was also a scribe and a messiah. Oh, Zekosha Tayada. Look at this. This is very interesting. The ruler. Under the hand of Anania, one of the king's captain. Oh, yes. There are so much victories you can read about this man. I look at verse number 15. Oh, we can start verse uh, 14. Uzziah prepared for them throughout all the host shields and spears, helmets, uh, all those, those who are instruments of war. Look at this, verse number 15. He made in Jerusalem engines. Look at how you prosper when there is a prophetic voice in your life. He sought God in the days of Zechariah. And this grace that came upon him, he was able to make, uh, uh, make uh, he made Jerusalem engines. He invented by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the bulk wards to shoot arrows and great stone with them. And his name, his name spread abroad. Listen, God can broadcast your business because there is a grace you are submitting under. Yes, yes, there is a grace you submit under. I have seen people who serve under a grace but still remain poor because of not perceiving this is a grace where my destiny is connected. They are wasted all their years, whereas they live like the brother of the prodigal son who asked the father, how comes I've been with you all these years and you have never slaughtered to me even one goat? The father was shocked. The father was shocked. My son, you are with me here and everything I have is yours. Didn't you know? Actually, that's the question. Didn't you know that all that I have is yours? He worked like a slave, whereas the servants were enjoying what the son is supposed to enjoy. He did not perceive that his father is his feathers. He was living like a beggar until now when he comes to confront his father. That this young man who has wasted all your year, all his years, the prodigal son, he has come back. But I have been here all these years. You have never even given me a small kid to slaughter and eat with my friends. The father was shocked. He said, my son, didn't you know you are always with me here? This grace must benefit you, but you didn't know. Others come and they enjoy. Servants come under this grace. They enjoy what you, my son, is supposed to enjoy. But because of your stubbornness, because of your rebellious heart, you can't enjoy what is under this grace. And he said to his father, didn't uh, 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 my father, Father, I am your son. I've been serving here all through. I'm actually from the farm. Ah, the father said, my son, you have been here with me always. Didn't you know that all I have is yours? That if you can perceive this grace, it is not you to go to the farm. There are servants who are supposed to serve you. And that is what I have seen happening. People that have grown as sons, but they live as beggars. They believe everything is automatic for them. It is not automatic. This young man sought God in the days of Zechariah. It is not automatic. Your father may have all the vehicles you have desired to drive, but you never drive any of them because you don't understand how to submit and enjoy in that grace. In that grace, you are always annoyed of your father. You are always criticizing your father. You are always in battle with your father. Whereas your other sons who you think they are careless, they are enjoying the blessings of the father. Zachariah was the prophet in that time. And that is where this young man Uzziah was able to prosper. You cannot prosper outside the grace you don't honor. Instructions for 
victorious living. Believe in the Lord your God, you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Listen to this. This young man, as long as he is serving under, oh, uh, Zachariah, he made in Jerusalem engines. He was a creator. He created things. He invented things. Engines in Jerusalem, invented by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the ball walks, to shoot arrows and gray stone with them. He had defensive mechanism to fight enemies. Listen, listen. And his name spread far abroad, for he was marvelously helped. He was marvelously helped. Listen and listen to me. You can also be marvelously helped. You can enjoy help without sweating because there is a prophet. There is a voice that speaks behind the scene and that is the prophetic voice. Look at Exodus chapter number 7. Exodus 7 verse 1. Listen to what God told Moses while he was sending him back to Egypt. Originally, Moses was in Egypt up to age 40. When he killed a man, he ran away. He was on the wanted list of criminals. When he's going back there, God says, I'm not going to send you the way you left. I want to give you a backing. I want to give you a support. And this is where he said, and the Lord said to Moses, verse 1, I have made you a God to Pharaoh. Number two, very crucial. And Aaron, thy brother, shall be your prophet. Aaron, your brother, shall be your prophet. Yes, you want to be marvelously helped help by God. You need to be helped marvelously. Then you need a prophetic voice in your life. In the name of Jesus. Listen to this. Aaron, your brother, shall be your prophet. Ah, Boshe Koza Tayanda. La Kazoko Tayanda. Aaron, thy brother, shall be your prophet. That is where many of us have failed in life. Yes, we have followed the wrong instructors. La Koza Tayanda. Father, I plead, I plead your masses, I plead your masses. There is a prophet that can lift up what you are suffering and God will not uh, allow you to change the protocols. He has placed protocols and I want you to see this. Aaron, your brother, shall be your prophet. I am sending you to Egypt. When you're going to that business, just allow a prophetic decree into your life. Let your prophet, your prophet, I'm not talking about diviners here, that you send money for them to speak a prophetic word into your life. I'm not talking about diviners, those who call themselves prophets and they are diviners. Listen and listen to this. Yes, Aaron, your brother, shall be your prophet. Look at Exodus 20 from verse number 7. Look at uh, Genesis 20 verse number 7. Why the prophetic voice in your life is very crucial. Very, very important. Oh yes, look at what God told Abimelech. This was a heathen. He doesn't even know God. He doesn't believe even in God. Abimelech king of Gerar. Uh, Genesis 20 verse 7. This man had taken Abraham's wife. Yes, because uh, uh, Sarah was an admirable woman. Old but admirable, beautiful, decent woman. Look at what God told Abimelech. And now, therefore, restore the man his wife. Restore this man's wife. Why? For he is a prophet. Abraham, many of you didn't know Abraham is a prophet. But God knew. Abraham never called himself a prophet. It is God who calls him a prophet. Yes. He didn't call himself, I am the mightiest prophet, Abraham. No, 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 no. He didn't call himself. It is God who calls him because he had that mantle 
of a prophet. Listen, now therefore restore the man's wife. Why? For he is a prophet. You did know that Abraham was a prophet. You thought he's just a man walking with God, but he was a prophet. And he says, as you restore this man, his wife, because he's a prophet, he shall pray for you. He shall pray for you and you shall live. You shall live. I pray for somebody under this grace. You shall live. COVID-19 will not kill you. Cancer will not kill you. Diabetes. Diabetes will not take you to the grave. I arrest this cancerous demon in your womb, in your cervix. Ziko Shaka Bagadelia. I curse this high blood pressure. I curse COVID-19. I curse every sickness in your blood. I curse every sickness in your blood in the name of Jesus Christ. I command this paralysis that has kept you in that uh, bed. This paralysis, this power calling itself a stroke. I reverse it. I reverse it. I reverse it. Mm. You spirit of paralysis, release the muscles, the tendons, the nerves. Release, release this man in the name of Jesus. You spirit of paralysis, I curse you in the name of Jesus. I command this power that is holding you on a wheelchair. Release you in the name of Jesus. Release you in the name of Jesus. I break the curse that is gluing you into that wheelchair, into that hospital bed. In the name of Jesus, I command that sickness that has tied you in that hospital bed to release you. That curse that has jailed you in that prison. You're watching me in a prison. I lose you from that prison. May your case be revisited again. In the mighty name of Jesus. La kozakata yanda la babo zoko shelanda. Instructions for victorious living. Believe in the Lord your God and you shall prosper. And you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall. You will. Boji yada. You will prosper. Follow me very closely. He said to this man called Abimelech. Now therefore, restore the man's wife, for he is a prophet. He is a prophet. You may see as an old mze, but he is a prophet. And what shall he do? He will pray for you, and you shall live. There are people uh -huh, that are watching me right now. You are watching this broadcast as a prophet with a prophetic voice in this channel. May you live and not die. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody is watching me with a lot of pain. You have a lot of pain in your body. I command that pain to dry from the root. That pain, I command you to dry from the root. I command that pain to dry, dry, dry from the root in the name of Jesus. I command that pain to dry from the root. You are in great pain. You are in great pain in Jesus' name. May you be loosed. Yes. Your pregnancy is due. Nine months and the baby is not yet coming forth. I unlock the gates of birth. I unlock the gates of birth in the name of Jesus. You will deliver that baby, Yakazo Belando Rugoza, 24 hours. 24 hours you'll be holding your baby, your baby boy, bouncing baby boy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to this. Listen to this. You shall live. And if you shall not restore her, know that you shall surely die. You and all that are yours. Follow this very closely. This is very, very interesting. Listen and listen to this verse number 17. This is where the solution came. When Abimelech perceived that this is a prophet, that is where things began to turn around. 20 and verse number 17. So Abraham prayed unto God 
and God healed Abimelech. Bago zaga tayanda. Oh yes, God healed Abimelech, number one, and his wife. So this problem affected his wife and his maid servants. Listen to this. Uh, so Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech and his wife, his maid servants, and they bear children. Bagozo koshe tayanda. Oya kazo keshe teli maragadalia. Roba bozi kashadaya mpa koredelia. I decree that every barren womb shall be unlocked. Every barren womb, I unlock you in the name of Jesus. Every barren womb, I command you to be unlocked. I unlock every barren womb in the name of Jesus. I break the curse of barrenness. I break the curse of barrenness. I break the curse of barrenness. Yes, in your body in the name of Jesus. Every curse, every curse in your marriage that hinders conception, I cast it from the root in the name of Jesus. Listen to this. And they bore children, verse 18, for the Lord has first closed all the wombs of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. God was able to unlock their wombs. He opened their wombs and I pray for a couple right now. May God open your wombs under the prophetic voice. Under the prophetic voice, Rikazo Shataya Balato Korodalia, Remanto Gadilabenda, Rakizo Benairoko Takatayanda, Yasakata Gedomyamva, Merusho Bedaga Zegiti Tainamagando, Makragole Barianda, I curse Sakuri Badaya, every barrenness in your life, you demons that cause barrenness. Diagada bozikata bagazanda. Yakazoketa lerusha dagadaya. I unlock those fallopian tubes. I unlock your uterus. I command fertility upon your husband. I command fertility upon this couple. Yakazoko sheketaya. If I be a man of God, nine months from today, may God give you the fruit of the womb, the fruit of the womb, the fruit of the womb, in the mighty name of Jesus. May God give you the fruit of the womb. By this decree, Ayakazobe Dayanda, I come to you in the volumes of the word of God. Is it not written in the word of God that children are a heritage from the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Under this unction, Dabushe Kanaya, I break this power of barrenness. I silence the spirit of miscarriage. 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 Jolusha Gadayada. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, listen to this. So Abraham prayed unto God and God healed Abimelech. Why? Because now Abimelech began to perceive that this is a prophet. This is a prophet of God. And the Lord had first closed all the wombs of the house of Abimelech. He had shut. So Abraham came in the prophetic voice by saying, whatever is closed on earth can be opened on earth and heaven shall cooperate. Whatever I unlock on earth, it shall be unlocked in heaven. I unlock your womb. I unlock your financial gates. I am unlocking your financial gates. I unlock, I unlock your promotions in the name of Jesus. Rakazo pekanda gezida. Ragado bizandara babazai. Beko zagadaya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Thank you Holy Spirit. La gazogishe tana magazada. La kazokoshe katayanda. Listen and listen to this. Miracles began even in the life of Abraham. Listen to this chapter 21 verse number 1. La kozaka. Immediately God unlocked the womb of Abimelech's family. The same happened to Abraham's wife. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did to Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived. Bakazoko Shetayada. Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age. And at the set time which God has spoken, Dalusa Konamayanda, Laka Debirindia Lozoboto Koyanda, I decree upon your life under this prophetic grace. You are not barren. You will never be barren. I unlock your womb right now. I unlock your womb. May your womb carry twins. May your womb carry twins. Carry triplets. Akushe kotaya. Powers that delay conception. I cast them in the name of Jesus. I cast them in the name of Jesus. Rakoza katayanda bagozushe kataya. And Sarah conceived. When God blesses a person in your neighborhood, it means you are the next one for a miracle. When your neighbor prospers, it means God is in the neighborhood. You only need to follow instructions for triumphant living. Father, I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor in the name of Jesus. Yes, let me speak a prayer for you under this prophetic anointing in this office, in these studios, in the name of Jesus. Father, all people, all the men and the women that are watching me, oh yes, I pray for the fruit of the womb. I pray for the fruit of the womb. I pray for the fruit of the womb. Every man and every woman that desire to hold their children, Father, let your mercy, let your mercy, let your mercy invade the their families. Let the uh, let your mercy invade them now. Nine months from now, Jehovah, let them appear here. Let them appear here with their twins, with their triplets in the name of Jesus. Rekoza bagaze litera konamaya rakedomo zujikandaya. I break the curse of barrenness. I destroy barrenness. Yekoza ek tope kanuze beranda. Pregnancy conceived in the wrong places of their womb. I reverse, I reverse, I overturn the powers. The gozo bedali karanaria. Yekazagataya bango zojita yaga. Irike no mozoko tayada. The fruit of the womb. I pray for the fruit of the the womb. My father, my God, I pray for the fruit of the womb. Yes, upon this couple right now, upon this marriage right now, five years without conception, ten years without conception, thirteen years, seven years, Zokosha, Pekola, Gadaya, 20 years, 18 years, whatever years the devil has wasted and locked their womb. If Jehovah, by prayer of a prophet, you unlock the wombs of the entire family of Abimelech, I come in the same volume. I come in the same volume and grace. I unlock the womb of 15 women that are watching me. 15 women that are watching me. Grant to them and plant in them Jehovah. Jehovah. Twins and triplets. Twins and triplets. Twins and triplets. In the name of Jesus. Rako Bamante Redila Bayaga. Twins and triplets. Twins. Double for their trouble. Bagazorisha Dagada. 
Father, I give you praise. Father, I give you honor. I give you majesty. Yes, I call heaven and earth to seal these testimonies. Oh yes, to seal these testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. I call it done. Brozikataya. Instructions for victorious living. Number one, believe in the Lord your God. You shall be established. Believe in his prophets. You shall prosper. You shall prosper. I'll be seeing you again. The same channel in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. This is Dr. Oracle signing out of the studios. Mountain of Deliverance Church, Nakuru, Kenya. Bless you, bless you, bless you.